An Introduction to Sine Cosine Tangent. This tutorial can be found on our website, mathwarehouse.com slash SOKATOA, where you'll find other goodies including a free worksheet with answer key, um, some more practice problems. Alright, this tutorial is going to be short and sweet. All, all I want to do today is, is introduce you to what sine cosine tangent is, explain what triangles it applies to, and then simply practice identifying which sides are opposite adjacent to a given angle and what is the hypotenuse. We're not going to actually calculate sine cosine tangent values. So if that's what you're looking for, that's a future tutorial. This is just bare bones intro to SOKOTOA. Alright, SOKOTOA is just a mnemonic device people use to remember um, what ratios go with sine, cosine, and tangent. S the sine of an angle B here is always its opposite over hypotenuse, hence so. Sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. Cosine is going to be A over H or adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent is going to be opposite over adjacent. You can see the diagram here giving you a picture of each case. So the sine of angle B here is the side that is opposite it. And that's on the numerator and the hypotenuse is on the denominator. So first off, the fact that we're dealing with hy hypotenuses is a clue to something you need to um, be completely aware of. Sine cosine tangent only applies to right triangles. So we can talk about the sine or the cosine or the tangent of angle A, but we cannot say sine B. Doesn't work. This is not a right triangle. There is no sine, no cosine, or tangent of an angle that is not in a right triangle. So SOKOTOA does not apply here. It does apply to triangle 1. And when we're talking about angle A, the adjacent, I mean just think about what adjacent means. Adjacent means next to. So adjacent is going to be 3. Opposite is what it looks like. If we're, if we're dealing with angle A, the opposite of A is 4. And the longest side, the side that is opposite from the right angle, is the hypotenuse. So if I asked you to identify um, in another triangle, let me bring another one on the screen for you here. If I asked you to identify the sides that are opposite, adjacent to, angle K in the top, angle P in the bottom, and also to identify the hypotenuse, we would look right at K. Right? I would suggest always finding the hypotenuse first. The hypotenuse is easy to find, right? It's, it's directly opposite of the right angle, and it's going to be 5. The adjacent, now here's the key. When we say adjacent to, we're talk, we, we have to be talking about some given angle. We're talking about K. We don't care about that this other angle here doesn't do anything for us. We're talking about K. So the side that is adjacent to K is 3. Can't be 5 because that's the hypotenuse. That's 3. The side that is opposite of K is 4. It's, it, it, the word, it, it's very straightforward. Angle P. Let's identify the same things. The side that is opposite of... Or let's start with the hypotenuse again. Hypotenuse, remember, is directly across from the right angle. The adjacent is next to the angle. It's the adjacent. And the side that is opposite of P is 6. Okay, let's try... Um, let's try one more to make sure you got it. Let's find the opposite, the adjacent, and the hypotenuse of this. And of course we're talking about in reference to angle Y. What side is opposite of Y is J. Right? You can see it's directly opposite of it. Adjacent to it is L. And K is directly across from the right angle. Okay, like I said, this is going to be a short and sweet intro and I just, just want to recap what we some of what we said at the beginning. Sokotoa are ratios and the ratios are what we're going to look into more in the next um, tutorial. There are ratios based on 
angles and then sides. The sides are either their opposite, the adjacent, or the hypotenuse. So before you can really do sine, cosine, tangent, you have to be comfortable identifying these opposite, adjacent sides and the hypotenuse. And one last reminder, Sokotoa only applies to right triangles. So you need a triangle like number one to be able to use sine, cosine, or tangent. All right, that's it. The next tutorial will work on actually using these sides that are opposite, adjacent, etc. to find the ratios.